Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, 2015, I changed my name. And when I changed my name, it was changed to Eon. A lot of people didn't believe me. A lot of people thought it was a joke or thought it was a game. So this is the so-called government of the United States communicating with Eon and Eon is the general partner. They literally put the social security number here and the EIN number here and EIN number here. Okay. Now, this is just a general letter letting me know that they're going to respond to that letter I sent them that I showed all of you my rebutting their stupidity. I don't care what they write back. That letter did me a whole lot more of a favor than they ever could have done me by doing anything else. They made my day, my year, my life. They did everything they could. Since when do they put social security numbers on the outside of an envelope? Literally put the social security number on the outside of the envelope. Okay, I want y'all to pay attention. Since when do they violate the law by putting a social security number on an envelope. I haven't shown you the envelope. There's no need. Just take my word for it. That very same information you saw right there is on the outside of the envelope, exactly the same thing. The EIN number and the social security number on the outside of the envelope. How is that possible? Interesting, ain't it? Now we know they did that on purpose. But like I said, they couldn't have done me a better favor. See, what you all don't know is that the Treasury has had my birth certificate and my photos and my ID for going on two years. October of this year will be two straight years they've had my paperwork. So that document that I told all of you that I'm working on, hold on, got to gotta take care of some things. Where is it's going to be this one? This is the one where I'm going in the small claims court. Okay, this is my small claims one. See, Emory Eon. I get to go in the small claims court now. I'm going after some judges first. Okay, I I'll take care of the oh, travel department, state department. I'm coming. I just want you to know, and I ain't got no problem letting you ignorant mother know that you told you to leave it alone and they wouldn't understand. So now, when I told you guys how impressed I am with this document, this document. Now, this is the same document you all have been using. Hold on, let me let me pull it up. Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. One second. Uh, not the Judici Judiciary Act, we did that the other day. I just had the document open. Huh, interesting. Well, we're going to do this one. I just had that document open, y'all. Literally. And it didn't show up as one of the first documents. That's interesting. Well, I just did a cleaning up of the system. Okay. This document that is online for all of you. I told you, I am using it. Some people tell me, well, I just had to clean it up. I don't give up what you had to do. That's my document. You don't even tell me you had to clean up my document. How dare you going to sit up here and say you're going to clean up what I did? Come up with your own and then clean that up. Mother <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> uh, sorry, that's for MR. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I had a conversation with somebody and he's always talking about editing my documents. Come up with your own documents and edit that and then tell that to yourself and see how you feel. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm just taking the time to let you know that in 2017, I did my stat pack. Pay attention. I did my stat pack. And when I did my stat pack, I sent it to the Internal Revenue Service. The letter I just sent them did not have the Social Security number on it. I did not include it on purpose. So when they wrote back, they included the Social Security number. Now, I know they weren't trying to tell me we know who you is. 
because if they were trying to tell me that, I don't give them. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't care. So I don't. I know that that wasn't it. But what I do know is thank you for putting it on the outside of the envelope and in the envelope. I don't care what you say after that. You can come up with whatever presumption and stupidity you want to come up with after that. Thank you. You have no idea what you did for me. I bet you won't do it no more. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me say this because it needs to be said because many of you guys don't understand. When I did my SAT pack in 2017, again, I don't just talk it, I walk it. Barry White told me to practice, so I'm practicing what I preach. There you keep telling me this and telling me that. Once I quit, I'll never go back. There is a lesson that you want to teach. Here I am, baby. Practice what you preach. Sorry, Barry White. The late, great Barry White. So I don't just throw things out there to you guys and not use it. You have my word. I'll be using this document right here on a regular basis. It's enough. They are public servants. They're not supposed to be ruling over the people. The courts are not supposed to be issuing rulings. Y'all need to pay attention. Police officers are not supposed to be issuing commands. The only time a police officer has an, uh, what do you call it, the authority to order somebody to do something is when that person has been accused of a crime and the elements of a crime are present. This thing about they got the right to detain, they don't have a right to detain while they do an investigation. Mother, where is that right listed at? Please, for Congress, Congress ain't did nothing. The First Amendment says Congress, that junk is unconstitutional. Congress is prohibited from abridging your rights. They can't detain because they feel like it. Well, you're under detention. I, no, I'm not under detention. You better sit up here and articulate a crime. Because I haven't heard you articulate a crime. And until you do so, ain't nobody, this ain't going to be that type of party, son. Sorry. A lot of things have taken place. Uh, when I tell you guys about Data Mass, I don't run Data Mass. The organization Data Mass. Hold on. Let's um, demonstrate that so that you guys understand. Datamass, ladies and gentlemen. Datamass.org. Datamass. Datamass.org. I don't run the organization. I just created the idea. Brought the people together who were willing to work and do the work. People who had already done this, I brought together. They are going to be my tax people. We're going to utilize them. I didn't didn't even consider that until today. I was talking to one of the old commissioners of SACOM, and while in the middle of talking to him, I'm like, wait a minute. We're about to file our tax. I'm going to use them to do our taxes. Lord have mercy. Y'all have no idea. I done created a monster. Oh, not that a mask. That a mask, uh, I just created that, but that's not the monster I didn't create it. I created a monster in me and this whole new way of thinking that I'm doing right now. Lord have mercy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that mass is up and fully functional. And I'm suspecting it'll be about two months before they'll be asking me to give them, because see, here's the thing. This is what most people don't realize. If you've already done your taxes and many of you have already done your taxes, have already paid for it, have already sent things out, because you want to get that quick and easy, don't worry about it. When you get your taxes done, you come back to Datamass and you have them add your write-offs and your losses for your sole proprietorship. And then you refile with those corrections or amendments. You'll get a larger refund at that point. Why? Because the taxes you did pay, the credits will eat those up and they'll have to issue a refund because it's refundable. Ta da. I hope y'all paying attention. Look, go to Datamass, 
read the website, understand what's going on. Data Mass is there to help you adjust what the other tax collectors, because that's what tax agents are. They're tax collectors. They help the government collect taxes from you. That's why they tell you you can't write stuff off. Of course you can write off your living expenses. And if somebody tells you you can't, then you write the refusal to allow you to write off your living expenses and you forgive the U.S. of that debt. Ladies and gentlemen, whew, I just talked to that a mask about something else that I'm going to ask them to do that is 100% legal that I was going to do myself for me and my own. But I said, I'm giving that to them. Now, I told them before I tell them exactly all the ins and outs and the ups and downs and ins and arounds, they're going to have to research it first so that they're well-versed in it, like they had to do all of this. This wasn't just them coming together and just saying, okay, we're going to start a company. Data Mass came together back in October. Okay. They didn't get started until February 15th. And all that time, they were preparing to get started. So this was no overnight thinking process. Ladies and gentlemen, we helped individuals with their SAT pack. We created special numbers for them, DINs and another number. Earlier I showed you the use of both the EIN and the other number. Hello. So what I'm trying to tell you is that was 2018 that I did mine, that I sent my paperwork in. I had it since 2017, but 2018, I sent in my paperwork. And ain't nobody complained to this day. So when I tell you that we've been doing this since 2017 at SACOM, and here it is, 2024. Mm -hmm. 2017, almost seven full years. Ask yourself the question. If we were doing something wrong, then how come nobody's come our way and said we're doing something wrong? I told you, my job is to follow the law. I am not here to disobey anybody's laws. I'm not here to tell you don't pay your taxes. As a matter of fact, all of you hear me saying over and over and over again, you want to pay your taxes. That's the benefit and you don't get it. Pay the stupid taxes, but get your, you better get your dividends. You better write off your wages and write off your, you better go look at IRS tax topic 453 and start using the accrual method of accounting. How dare y'all sit up here and don't understand how to pay taxes? You better do what Donald Trump did. Have your friend walk up to you and say, hey, I'm a hair cutter. Don't you mean a barber? No, I'm a hair cutter. Give me that. that okay, that one string of hair. Okay, clip. Okay, that's $75,000. Pay attention. He paid $75,000 for a, a haircut. Pay attention, a hair cut. And I guarantee you it was that literal because you know Donald, he's literal. Hey, sorry D, but I know how you think. He paid $75,000 for a haircut. You can't tell somebody how much to charge for a haircut. The government doesn't have that authority. And you can't tell somebody how much they can pay for a haircut. The government doesn't have that authority. Go look at the code. Go see if a hairstylist can only charge $5 for styling somebody's hair. Go see if there are any limitations on how much they can charge. Go see if there are any limitations on how much somebody can sell a house for. Look, somebody just told me about receiving the tax benefits for donating their property. <laughs> he was 100% right. And then I told him exactly how people can do it. I ain't going to tell y'all how to do it. No, 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 no. We're going to do that as a business thing. Okay? 
we're gonna do we're gonna keep that in house. Sorry, can't take can't 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 tell y'all. But you better believe everybody else was already doing it. That's how I could tell him doing it that way. Look, I only did this video to let you know that I'm not just sitting back anymore. I have been actively doing my own thing. It's been kind of slow because I've been trying to do everything else. I had a consult with a young lady earlier today. We talked about it quite a bit, especially taxes and this thing about doing 1099As and 1099Cs. She and I talked about that, and I had to explain to her, and I did tell her that the people who were doing that, yeah, they let a couple of people get by and do it, and then they go after everybody else. So I explained to her what she needed to do and what other paperwork needs to be accompanying. Now, I'm not doing that for everybody else. I did that for her because she was under the impression that she could just go and get this property with a 1099, a 1099A, and all of that stuff. And I said, no, it don't work that way. I said, look at all the people who are doing those videos. You don't see no more videos on people talking about 1099As. Hold on. Do me a favor. Let's go here. Uh, that's JW.org. Uh, one second, y'all. Yeah, I visit JW.org all the time. I have the app on my phone. Please. That, uh, that website's got too much information for me not to have JW.org everywhere I go. Uh, uh, don't say that. Don't you dare say nothing. Sorry, I'm talking to him. Don't you dare say nothing. I ain't got nothing to say to you. You, you be quiet for right now. I will tell people about you at another time. At another time. We're going to talk about you at another time. You're going to want to talk over here because I needed to open up a new window. But you ain't going to say nothing this time either. Okay, stop it. Stop in the name of... I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Be, 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 be quiet. Be quiet. Starting your own side. I company. said stop! He's an all right uh, YouTuber. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this right here. We're going to type in one settle, nueve nueve. Ah, and let's see. Uh oh, it didn't do it. One settle, nueve nueve. Ah. Ah, ba, ba, da, e, ah, de. Let's do that. Oh, you see it said 1099 to pay bills? <laughs> oh, God, I know there's so many people who fall for that. And this is four months ago, two years ago, eight months ago. But he's canceling that with a 10 I see. I've seen his video. What? Here's what happens when you try to buy a car with a 1099A. This is a year ago. He's got 24,000 views. Wait, hold on now. I want to see this because I ain't seen this, y'all. Hold on now. Ooh, 54 minutes. I mean, 54 seconds. 54 seconds, y'all. 54 seconds. Well, it's your money in Texarkana, Texas. Police are warning the public about a scheme using a tax form to make fraudulent purchases. Police say a potential customer will try to make an expensive purchase using a 1099A form. The scammer says they have a huge amount of money in a government trust, and they try to use the form like a third-party check. Unfortunately, there are people, businesses, individuals that, that are falling for this, and, you know, they go. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a liar. There are no businesses that are falling for it. That's why nobody's been arrested. This is just something they put on the news. Now, can you do it? No. Technically, no. Can you do it? Technically, yes. There are other forms that go with it. He is not an IRS agent. He's not a tax agent. Okay, so he's got that police sign behind him, but that doesn't mean nothing. So what? You got a stupid police sign. That doesn't make you anybody. That just makes you a person opening and closing your mouth. Shut your mouth while I'm talking. Okay, hold on. Go out and, and they allow this person to use this as payment for whatever they're getting, cars, furniture, appliances, or whatever. Now, hold on. Did you hear him say, and they allow the person to use it? Then it's not against the law, you moron. Nobody is scamming or scheming anybody if the person is allowing it, you idiot. Sorry about that. Ever, they come back, and obviously the IRS is not going to send you a check based upon this, your, the bill that you send them. 
there is another doc, well, another set of documents that go with it, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what the people who are doing the 1099 A's weren't telling people. Usually the people in accounting with the company you're dealing with understand what are the documents. That's why they tell you you need to speak to the people first. If you were to do that, and I'm just telling you this because many people should have told you this. We've known this since 2012 when we first did it. You have the person in accounting have to know what they're doing. So you have to know the person because you can't just walk up to them and say, this is what I need you to do because they're not going to take a chance on you. They don't know you. Hold on. Let's go. According to Vaughn, businesses that fall for this will be left holding the bag. Any business encountering this situation should contact police. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Now, how come they didn't say there's several businesses and here are several owners and here's an interview? Why is it just they're doing this story? Because the IRS doesn't want people doing it. It is legal. There's nothing illegal about it. That's why you didn't see an IRS agent speaking. You didn't see a representative with the IRS speaking. You saw somebody whom they claim is a police officer. And he wasn't even in uniform. He just had a sign behind him. That's called a prop, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why the story was only 54 seconds. All right, let's get back. Let's see. 1098 wasn't working. Conditional acceptance, secure party. This is eight months ago. And he's saying why it wasn't working. 1098 does not get you paid. Okay, knowing this does, knowing what does. Okay, that's a year ago. Hold on. Uh, that's Chris. I ain't heard from Chris in a while. Uh, I think he's got some uh, issues that he's taking care of. Uh, do you need to issue a 1099? That's He's not talking about that. How to pay your bills with a payment coupon, code, discharge, debt, 1099 purchase, secure party credit. Nope, that ain't how it works. This is an old video. I know the information he's going off of is an old video, but he says, find how to find your QCIT number and how to use it to discharge debt coupon administrative process. Uh-huh, that's what they said. And I know some of y'all go check these videos out, and I am not advocating any of these videos. Y'all need to pay attention. Now, look, he says, nightmarish truth about 1099A debt discharge purchase process, 1099 OID warning 2024. He did this seven months ago. Nightmare is true. What's the nightmare is true? Uh-oh. He's got some nightmare is true. You cannot use a 1099C to pay off debt. Don't believe me? Read the fine print on irs.gov, ladies and gentlemen. You can use a 1099C to pay off debts. Now, hold on now. It has to be a company with other documents. I've done it. Repeatedly. So, no, I uh -uh, ain't going for that. My experience with 1099A and reporting credit, that's his experience, 11 months ago. Hey, I know this youngster. Oh, I don't know him, no, and that's him. I don't know him, no, but I actually like him. He, he, he does all right, does some pretty good videos. All right? Uh, this is how I, you follow my 1099A, which was accepted today. Anybody can get a 1099A accepted. You just follow the rules. Okay, but you notice they're all a year ago. How come there's nothing two months ago or a week ago or three days ago? How come there are no recent videos talking about the 1099A? I mean, it was just everywhere. A, look, a year ago, look at all these a year ago videos. That, I mean, 1099A, a year ago, man, that was, you couldn't even go to YouTube without finding a 1099A video. Whew, they're oh, two years ago, a year ago. Oh, buy a car with a 1099A process explained a year ago. Successfully completing a 1099 A and C description. I know that fool. This is a this is a 16 minute video. Okay, I know this fool. See, oh, fifth, six. Uh, I said 16 minutes. Five minutes and 16 seconds. Apologize for that. I know that fool. I trust him because he shows you exactly what he did. And he shows you step by step. Interesting. <sighs> 1099 OID a step by step. How to buy a house, cars, and more. A year ago. All of these people a year ago, ladies and gentlemen, why is it so long ago? I don't understand. It's so long ago. Why aren't there any recent videos talking about 1099As and buying property with 1099As? Okay. Look at this. Now, this one is a month ago. 
IRS Form 1099A Walkthrough Acquisition and Abandonment of Secured Property. But this is not a person using it to buy a property. This is just the person talking about the document. This document has nothing to do with acquisition and abandonment of property. Okay? Has nothing to do with it. Read the instructions and see exactly what it does. 1099A. Just read the instructions. It says it right there. It tells you exactly what it's for. It tells you what its purpose is. It says for this purpose. Okay? But, uh oh, wait, look what he says. Debt discharge, how a 1099A truly works. Trust direct account. <gasps> Proper setup. Meet your straw man. Okay. And five years ago. And process update. And I don't see nothing where anybody's talking about they done did this and did that a month ago or two weeks ago or three days ago. I don't see nothing, nothing, nothing. And this is my first time checking, but I've been saying it to people. And so I figured, put your money where your mouth is. Jane Keaton. Uh, Jane Keaton have a, I promise you guys, I've known of Jane Keaton since the late 80s. I've known of Gene Keaton since the late 80s. So when I heard the name, I knew who Gene Keaton was. And I I do listen to Gene. Gene is my man. He's just getting a little bit uh, elderly. And so Gene, he going to be all right. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say it again so that everybody gets it. There are no recent videos of anybody talking about some 1099s. 1099As. 1099 anything. You will see me talking about 1099 C's. I'll tell you all day long. Charge that junk off. Forgive those fools their debt. United States is supposed to be taking care of this and taking care of that for you. Forgive the United States this debt. Get your credits and move on. Okay? Go on to the next debtor. Okay? Do the same thing they do to you. Have them reaping what they sow. It's just the way it is. So, as I said, of course they're going to come my way. I don't care. Like I said, they did what I wanted them to do. I don't mind making an issue of all of this. If you don't think that I'm ready, please understand I went to school to be ready. That's all I studied while I was in school. Because I had to be prepared. So, as I said again, Hopefully this will work. This was the letter they sent to me on behalf of my company with my social security number. Hold on. Let's make sure. Uh-oh, I can't move that too much because I don't want y'all to see that. Y'all are not supposed to be seeing that, okay? But that lets you know that's a number there, okay? And this right here lets you know that's an EIN number right there. That's what it starts with. Okay, just thought I'd let you know. This ain't nothing but the address and everything, but I blocked that out because I just felt like it. All right? So the United States government, because they claim to represent the United States government, recognizes me. I didn't have to write them for them to recognize me. No, I did write them in my name. Of course I did. But I didn't give them that social security number. They gave me the social security number. They recognized the social security number. They said, hey, this is you, mother. And I'm like, hey, I, I didn't tell y'all that. They're like, oh, you didn't have to tell us. I'm like, oh, so y'all got it like that. And they're like, we ain't got it like nothing. But we don't get what you when we can. Be like, okay, you ain't got to get back with me at all. Because I'm going to get with y'all in a minute. Because I am going to get with them in a minute. Because I've had enough. I sent them a letter in December. And I'm getting ready to take some people where they need to go because I got people playing games with me and I don't feel like playing games. All right. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, Data Mass was created for you guys. It wasn't created for us. That's why I wasn't even thinking along that line. But I told you, I practice what I preach. I'm using Data Mass and I am bringing at least six of our companies to Data Mass. And I'm paying the full fee. That money doesn't come to me. Even though the link is for the Eon Foundation, the money doesn't go to me. It's not my company. 
we had to give them a temporary portal for their merchant services until they got got established, until they got their bank account open, which will be shortly. It's just a little bit longer of a process because they just started business. But we got them. I got them back. But I'm still having to do the transaction because I can't get a discount. I started the organization. It would be improper for me to get a discount. Do you understand? So I have to pay full price. I don't get paid for that. The putting together the website, I don't get paid. They don't give me no money back. Okay. Mine is completely voluntary. If they paid me, I'd be an employee. So I don't get paid for anything I've done. It is completely voluntary on my part. Don't want to have anybody claiming that there's some collusion or some fraud or there's some intention because, well, you helped them out so that they could do this for you and this for you and that for you. Nobody will be able to say that. No one. No one. All right. Thank you guys for taking the time to listen to all of this. There's just so much going on and I'm trying so hard. <sighs> to relax because this is Saturday it's five o'clock and it's been a pretty good day I've been up since four so I've been up a little bit over 13 hours I'm not tired but I am about to go lay down watch a little bit of tv and take myself to sleep because Sunday Sunday's going to be a better day because today will be a better day for you and me just wait and see. Okay, y'all take care, and we'll speak to y'all next time. I just wanted to show y'all. They recognized me. They finally noticed me. Oh, Lord. All right, Arriba Darchi, Sarana, Adamiosi, and goodbye.